One big issue in modern society is church versus state. Many people want religious involvement in state affairs completely dissolved, whereas others feel that it is their right and privilege to maintain certain religious factors in government affairs. Regardless of which side of the fence you sit on, one thing is for sure. The disputes we hold over separation of church and state today are minuscule in comparison to England's problems in the 1500s. Stick around and I'll tell you all about it. Back in February, we had the privilege of working with Keith Hughes of Hip Hughes History in our Valentine's Week episode. He helped us discuss the issues that King Henry VIII was facing when trying to divorce Catherine of Aragon. King Henry wanted to marry someone else to father his heir to the throne, but there was a hitch in his plan. A very big hitch, I might add. The Catholic Church did not allow for divorce, and in an effort to resolve his problems, King Henry separated himself from the Catholic Church and made the Church of England the true English religion with himself as the head. This would allow him to do as he pleased in the matter of divorce. There were those who resisted, however, and on July 6th of 1535, Sir Thomas More was beheaded for denying King Henry as the supreme head of the Church of England. Sir Thomas More was a former Lord Chancellor of England and is the same person who coined the term Utopia after the book authored by the same name. After this tragic event, he was quickly declared one of the first martyrs in the name of the Catholic Church during this whole Church of England debacle. One thing I've learned over many years of studying history is that King Henry VIII is a bad dude and you better not cross him. Sir Thomas More found out the hard way. That's it for today's historical events from That Was History. Be sure to check out yesterday's episode if you missed it, and please join in and subscribe to our channel for future updates. We'd love to have you as part of our community. You can also check out our social sites listed below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.